Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jake, you're here for another reaction. And today, I'm reacting to House of the Dragons Season 2, Episode 8, The Finale. Now, whew, uh, that was a interesting week with everyone being absolutely praising the shit out of last week's episode. Everyone loving the ending, how it got them all jacked up, ready for the finale. And then the finale just gets leaked online. Uh, once I saw it was leaked, you best believe I, I wasn't paying attention to any of that. I made sure I avoided that like the plague. So I'm going into this blind. I don't know what's happened. I don't know anything that may have been spoiled prior to this. So everything's going to be a shock to me. And even today, people have already been talking about it online. Thank God my uh, my my Twitter feed has been filled with other atrocious, atrocious shit. So I say thank God it's atrocious. So it don't really. But you know what I mean. I had nothing been spoiled. So where we left off. Uh, we got two new dragon riders uh, on two new dragons and uh, we sent Vega packing with his little bitch on him. Uh, and yeah, it's, I mean, that's the main sort of thing that was taken from it. That was what the ending was, was like kind of them trying to get new dragon riders. Um, but yeah, there's other bits and pieces like a Damon may have control of the Riverlands now. Um, and uh, so, and he betrayed the guy that was sort of like doing his bidding um, Baylor's, uh, no, Raina's off to, uh, probably find herself her own little bloody, dra little, probably huge dragon. Um, yeah, uh, I'm looking at an army of bastards, just look at my notes quickly. Alison was swimming like she's upset. Oh, upset, she is upset, she's depressed probably. <clears throat> um, but yeah, that's, I'd say that was the... Uh, main ones really looking at all this just here and there but yeah uh, uh, yeah so we have a couple of no we have th all together we have three new dragon riders we have Adam we have uh, we have Adam we have Hugh and we have Ulf so yeah uh, I'm excited I'm going to stop talking shite so I'm going to jump into this guys so I hope you enjoy this well, I hope I enjoyed this episode I hope you enjoyed this reaction and if you do drop a like subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell that'll be superb but other than that See you on the other side. A monkey? What? Game, you plead poverty. It is hollow stuff from the mouth of a land. It's true. Your literal whole thing is that we have money. And this vast. It seems you need us. Yeah, so give us more fucking money. It's it's this is negotiating one oh one oh one. The step stones. What of them? Do us the step stone. <laughs> Just my with rocks. You will drive up the price of basic goods. It is better than starving, surely. I mean, he's got a point, but also he's a scumbag. Very well. Ah, they got you by the balls. The Prince Regent may have me hanged for this. <laughs> How hard are we send now? Probably. You can topple the Prince Regent. Oh. Sit the Iron Throne yourself. Oh, that's not bad. That's how big is this buddy? Of course there is this army they're sending for him. Condition. You're thin. But also tall. What's going on here? Is she picking her mate. I will not sail with a man oh. who cannot best me. Okay. She's not picking a mate. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh you just put your little scaly puppies, aren't you? I mean, was it needed? Jesus H. Christ. Some rum will be good, miss. <laughs> oh, gosh. If I had a nickel. I must ask you, Your Grace, to steal yourself. We must leave King's Landing. Oh? Huh? And we will not return for some time. Why? What's he got planned here? What? Be that as it may, he has gone in fury to Sharp Point and laid waste to the whole of the town. Oh, the whole town. Oh, my God. <laughs> right? Right? Why must I run? Because you'll be... Because is going to kill you. Uh, that as well, I guess. And once he returns... There you go. I was about to say smart fella. I was about to say, to be honest, that's a smart fella right there, but it, it, again, 
Laris is right, is that only stopping his brother will delay the inevitable. I knew that the greater part of Harrenhal's gold reserves to the Iron Bank in Bravos. We can live well uh, I, and remain until... This is a bit interesting, because it's like, almost like he's, he's telling let's run away together and be... Be in love in a distant land like your man from season one. Live with the goat All right, calm down. They're nice people. Just to live. Yeah, but it's like, it, yeah, the way they do it, the way he suggests it is like how, um, how, what's his face? Oh, Rhaenyra's first husband, uh, the one that was her cousin, that but was gay, and he ran off to a distant land with his, uh, like, to, to be able to be gay and not, you know, a prince, that sort of thing. As it seems like, it's like run away. We'll be together, and we can live a good life. I'll, I'll tend to the, to the fields, and you'll, you'll keep the house clean. That's what it feels like, you know. My dragon is dead. <sighs> and Why I forgot about that. And the, my cock is destroyed. Did they tell you that? Oh, yeah. what? It burst in the flames like a sausage on the spit. Oh, ugh. Ugh. Oh, oh my. I can't even piss without it running down my leg. They will be tired of endless deprivation. What? He's just telling you he can't even vote. He can't work. He, he's at work. He's... he's the returning king. I, I, he's, what is this game he's playing? He's just telling you he can't move. He's literally pissing himself because he can't do it. How is he going to... What's Laris up to, man? His father. On the peacemaker. Oh, no chance. Egg on the rebuilder. Even further chance. For even for even bigger no chance. I should have said. <laughs> oh, he's falling for it. Oh, he's falling for it. Yes. Look at her go. She's off to find a dragon. Did you only just hear it? water? Only just now? Oh, and that's it with her then. <laughs> just having a nice little water break. Remove your feet from the table. I'd rather not. Oh. So it's up to you. Yeah, he's pissed off for you anyway. Boy, he is the prince of Prince Joseris Valaria. Yeah, you Mr. stupid little prick. <laughs> you doofus. He lives here. I'll have an apology from you. Oh, the young <laughs> Look at that hair. Oh. You and I. Cut from the same place. Oh, he's gonna <laughs> fucking hate that. Nothing. This little brat. If you hinder our efforts through sloth or unreadiness. I will see you hanged. Oh, he fed to the dogs oh. in the streets. Do you know what? Do you know what? I, I he needs. He, he need, probably needed to hear this. That's actually well done, Jace. Although he got all that out for himself, that needs to be said to him. You know. I had hoped my advantage may be in deterrence. <laughs> no chance. You made him look like a bitch, so he needed to take his anger out somewhere. The sad brother is unsettled. Dreamfire. Hatch when the conqueror was king. <sighs> Dreamfire. She is formidable. What a name. Dr. Helena is no How goes the sea snake? Better than you. Are we getting out on the ocean or what? Come on. My ship is no longer the sea snake. Oh? What's it called now? She was a testament to my own glory. I've given her a new name. The queen who never was. Oh, <laughs> why would you do this? Corliss. Oh... You sweetheart. What I do now, I do for her. Oh, God. Hopefully, Your you grace. don't get to join her you soon, are, but hopefully, at the same time, I hope, I hope you do. You must crush this beast at its head. Yes, please. Yes. I Mainly, uh, Cole. There is a yeah, everyone else can survive, but Cole. Another place. That is yet to be revealed. There he is! <laughs> it seems the sheep on her vassals have sent a drove of swine instead. 
Dragons do eat pigs, I assume. Cracks prefers them. He <laughs> that's nice. That's preferences. Here he is, the star of the show. I am sent as an emissary. I bet as in not not Alfred. The the actual prince. There he is. It will never serve the usurpers or the whelps of old time. That's why you're an honourable man. And in times like this, the fuck was that? Do you hear something? Right? This bloody tree and its whispers. This place will have you. Renira will chart her own course, for good or ill. <sighs> you bitch! No, you're both bitches. Stop if it! You declare yourselves. Your lords will follow you. They never took you for a town cloak. That's it, Alf. You know what? I thought you were honourable. Oh no, no, boys, don't do this, please. But what we need in this moment. Don't say a man. Don't be say king. Is a king. <sighs> right. Signed to burn Alfred. Dropped everything for a penis, mind you. Everything you believed in. He was like, oh, they have. I'm dropping it just because you have a penis. I hope you're disappointed in them. The pretender sent boats. We must all make our sacrifices. Oh, you little swaggering bitch! Oh, he's so. They're unhappy. Ugh. And unhappy people. I was happier before I was queen. Simpler times, baby girl. Simpler times. I bet you were happier as well. Ah, oh, let's run away. Everyone's running away. The prince regent, your grace. Helena. Oh, this bitch. Here he is. The pretenders raise new riders against us, and we must answer in kind. I need you to fly with train fire to battle. Oh, uh, what? Our wishes must take second place now. What? What is necessary to preserve the throne. I won't burn anyone. That's good. 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 Good for you. It isn't a question. They have defiled our birthright, made commoners into dragon lords. It's a sin and must be punished. Let's, we need to sort this fucker out. And you just put your reign ruin and death upon its small folk when you've been insulted. Because it makes you feel strong. Oh, Alison, yes. And now you seek to corrupt your sister. Yes, call him scum. The gentlest and most deserving of your protection. Who will protect her if she cannot protect us? And who will she be if her mind is broken? It's no longer our rule. Oh, go on, Alison. Very lives, would you... Ugh. Oh. Hope you choke on it, you sack of shit. Do you think nothing of your oath? <laughs> no. Lord Commander. He really doesn't. You do realise if you kill him now, they'd kill Lord. you. Fucking the Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I mean, I hate him, but good on him, I guess. She is my sister. And she is his lover. I don't know why I'm defending him. My life. Since then, she has been the beacon I follow. All right, also listen, right, I just wanted to point out, he is with an entire army that is at his command. He is literally still the hand of the king, isn't he? And he just put a knife, oh, that's ballsy, good on him, I guess, ballsy, but fucking hell, you're asking to be murdered. Desire for women has brought me grief after grief. <laughs> yeah. Loss after loss, more like. Well, or perhaps all men are corrupt. Bingo. The dragons dance and men are like dust under their feet. <sighs> it's beautiful, isn't it? I wish it was him. And all our fine thoughts all crushed right. underneath them. Endeavor. He is traumatised. By what he just said. He's he's probably expected some sort of like quiet dude that didn't know how to talk. Here he is out here writing poetry, heartbreak and poetry that's reached his soul and he does not know what to do. He got to him so much he's sitting on the log with him. Oh he's getting messed up. Oh 
<laughs> this is quite humiliating. Blue hair, gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. Maybe later, sir. Oh. Oh, go on, sir. Oh, she's not going to like... Oh, my goodness. Oh, that wasn't... That's not fun anymore, guys. When are you all going to cheer? Me, <laughs> Here it is. There we go. After dinner. There we go. Imagine she just did the whole old school thing where just dropped them back into it. Oh. Oh, she's a... Uh... She's kinky. They are an insult to us. Oh. To what makes us Targaryens. <sighs> this pure blood dead. shit that is just... Or you. It's got a point. You're a bastard, mate. You I just... You should realistically be anywhere face. near the throne. Son of the rightful queen. That's, what, that's what his argument was actually saying that. He was like, well, if you've, if you've already ruined my ch possible chances by, you know, making me a bastard... Uh, then, uh, then you've just made it even worse. But still, he's been a bitch. Get up and take your place by your mother's side. That's a very good point. Rather than being wallowing in it like a little bitch, stand by her side so people see you're with her, and then no one will ever suggest otherwise that you are not heir to the throne. Before you get some more. Oh, there. So Greece, the Humiliating the him. In many so ways. I will be pleased to sail at your side. Oh, nice. But if I feel like... I feel like she's going to also say... But I want you to please me as well. I don't know. I feel this... I don't know whether it's... They're, they're quite an aggressive a lot. So I feel like it's sort of like... A, yeah, no, we fuck. The sort of thing, you know? You are a handsome man. And you have proven your worth. Right. Virility. Right. I wish to have children by you. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. I want you to fuck my wives. Oh. Uh, okay. How many words do you have? That's a very good question. How much sperm does he need? Like, how is it getting spread? It's a lot of. Logistics. Taming a dragon's thirsty work. Oh, and some more of these little birds. Oh, this little doofus Ulf man, he's gonna probably annoy me a little bit. <laughs> with how much of a doofus he is. Three of you are not of noble birth, but you have done a thing never dreamed of before now. Jace, don't be a little bitch. Don't. I had thought the mere fact of you might stay the enemy's hand. Oh shit, we're going to battle already. The strongholds of the usurper, Old Town and Lannisport and their armies all must be subdued. I wish for us to kill innocents. Oh, so many. It is hard. Oh. Uh, help. I just realised myself what was said there. It took me a while to pick up on that. We must break the will. The Prince Regent cannot defend against all of us. I'll take him on myself. Silver wings ago as she is. Oh, we're afraid of nothing. <laughs> I feel is he going to even make it to the end of this episode? Time enough to... A knight will comport himself with grace at the queen's table. Best make me a knight then. Oh, you are overstepping. You forget yourself. Sense of humour, do you all good? He's too common. He's too good. Maybe Jace is right. <laughs> Damon. Sir Simon Strong. Oh, nice! Has raised his arm. He's he's riding on him. But Sir Simon fears treachery. Go, oh, go on, go on, Mister Strong. Oh, can you go one episode without one episode without being creepy? <laughs> he, he's enjoying it. It's fine. Is that all it takes, Damon? Are you? Are you? He's going. He's gone. <laughs> there are omens here for those who seek them. You do not scoff. No longer inclined. I think he's seen enough to believe it now. But today you are ready. For what? For betrayal? 
for destroying the sanctity of marriage? Oh my. Oh my god, what are we seeing here? Oh, the ravens. Oh! Wait, what? Hold on. Was that the dead? That was the area of the dead. Oh, oh my god, I feel like... Oh my... She's... Hold on. Hold the fudge on. Actually showing him the future, what's to come. There she is, on her rightful throne. What are you doing here? Oh, hold on. Is she... Is she actually here or experiencing it? You know your part. Did she practically just say you know your part as in like you know your place? Is it know your place? Get back into it. Get back into line. You know what you must do. Oh, hold on. Did she just say that now? The second. Hold on. All right, you can't actually. I can't actually tell to see if she actually. She didn't because she said it whilst looking at Damon, and then it went just focus on her. So there's a chance that she, they just decided to stick the camera on her. But I feel like she was actually there because she has the the gift, doesn't she? So when the good of the realm depends on us, you can't change your tune now. You came in all aggressive, like is not a dragon rider. You can't chill. I don't understand. She, She's barely a dragon rider herself. Will you burn me as you did Ergon? She knows! She knows! She knows! <laughs> oh, you shit heel. He's yet to see victory. Can you. He sits on a wooden throne. Can you stop predicting stuff, please? No. <laughs> Fingers crossed. You was. I could have you killed. That won't stop the inevitable. Oh my God, babes, we're on the same wavelength here. <laughs> Craxies, wake up, friends, friends, friends. Damon, your wife is here. I am the Castellan to Simon Strong. And you were queen of this castle. Welcome to... Yes, I must admit I had reason to fear. Had? Yourself. Had? You're not going to get on your knees and kneel? No? <laughs> You're going to kneel now, huh? How about now? There he is. I just spotted him in the crowd myself. Oh, that's a great shot. Really enjoyed that. Good to see they're actually using like loads of actors as well to be able to have that shot. Are we gonna just continue this fight here and now? I wasn't expecting you. I see you have done well here. They sworn to me. And are you sworn to her? A moment too soon. And to whom are you sworn? No, oh, yeah, that's the question you should be asking. He bows them out, kiss them all. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, he's oh he's oh he's parroting the wisdom. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> the realm's only hope is a leader who can unite it. And my brother chose you. <laughs> oh, that's it. Everyone follows suit now. You are the true queen. <laughs> my, my boy. The realm. I am meant to serve you, and all of these with me, until death, or the end of our story. Oh. Oh. She was not expecting this. I don't think. Yeah, that's get on your knee, you stupid, fucking sexist prick. <laughs> He is a ghast. <laughs> now, Kith. 
<laughs> My queen. <sighs> they need to get some anger out of them. I don't know the perfect way. For every one of us, there will be no mercy. We fight for our queen. Yes! Go! Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, that's it. Look at Lord. Look at Lord Strong in the background. Doesn't know what to do. Yeah, that's the look. Of, I know that look. That's the look a woman was like. I can't wait to get you alone now. You may have betrayed me, but all is forgiven. <laughs> betrayed me for just a little bit. I wish to set out on good terms with my first mate. Oh yeah. I've been remiss in my duties. No. Done what is asked of you, and more. Is he gonna come clean? I mean no offence. You may go. Oh, is he better lose his shit on it? Where? Um, oh. Know what it was like for us. Here it is. Finally, it's, he's letting out. How marvelous. What grief does? No shame. You are dismissed. Oh yeah, that's it. You don't. You don't like now that it's all in your face now. And now that boy is dead. And his sister before him. And the other took his place. <sighs> now, now you remember I live. Oh, he's got he's got such a good point. Now wished, I will decline any of it. Oh, oh God, you know what? Good for you. Good for you. This Where is this fucking dragon? There is that fucking dragon. <laughs> there it is. That's it. Hopefully she actually can claim it. And it's not gonna just kill her or leave, or she's gonna chase it and end up dying of starvation. Oh yeah, you two. Just, yeah. And yet, to claim it, I must strike. And in striking, I doom thousands to their death. <sighs> Shit, yeah, your dad would not like this, would he? He'd actually I don't believe my father would have wished this. Helene is not the only one with the gift. Just saying. He left you with no. I had to see you. Uh, why is everyone secretly meeting each other? Who knows? None save my protector. He laid down his sword at your gate. How did. How was. He, he able to get in like why is like don't get me wrong I get that she's here as a messenger or to talk or something like that, but realistically when she did it she had to pretend to be like a, a nun this one was able to go hey look listen here's my sword I need to speak to the Queen Rhaenyra it's me Alicent the Queen Regent or previous Queen Regent uh, and it's like so uh, we call surely she should be in shackles and shit I don't know how she managed to work around this I've been I think mistaken <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> In, I resented you I think for caring so little for any of it for knowing what you wanted now you've seen the way of the world and you want to you, you, you come come on me. come on get in join us all's forgiven I promise why my husband my father my lover no. my son the incorruptible thing. <laughs> yeah, but you judged her originally, you dick. I would take my daughter and her child and leave. Oh, okay, but I don't think they'll allow your child to leave. Alison. Uh, her child, sorry, Helena's child, especially Helena's child. Blood, cities burned, armies march, and you wish to wash your hands of what you yourself set in motion. Arrogance of blaming me. As if you would not have been challenged. Uh, that's like a yeah. I that's very true. Did you come here thinking you would be absolved? Probably. Why have you come here? That's I, I don't know. She's not. I, Emma will soon fly to join Carl when, when he's gone. Helena as queen will be the crown's authority. If you come then to King's Landing, I will see to it that our guards throw down their arms. We will open. Oh. Will shed no blood. Oh my goodness! Really. You will enter as a conqueror. <laughs> oh my god! Or a census form must end. It doesn't work like that, but that's some good scheming. 
If I am to take the throne, I must put an end to the opposition. And murder everyone. I must take Egon's head. However you may try to evade it, you know this. I think Helene is worth it if to get rid of both your sons, not gonna lie. She's the brightest light out there. A son for a son. <laughs> but, oh my god, we're back to this. Oh my god. We're right back to the start. Was that a, a nod there? Are we going to embrace? <laughs> Let us be done with this. Cast myself in the mercy of a friend who once loved me. <sighs> oh, shit. I mean. Yeah, she deserves it. <laughs> this show painted her a, vi a villain. A complicated one of that. Grab. To die unremarked and unnoticed. Well, well, well. Having you change to die un <laughs> unmarried and unnoticed. From a distant dream. Okay. Are we gonna? Okay. For some reason, I was like, I honestly got thought there would have like a little moment where it was a, a not maybe not brace. That's too much. Too much. Just have a maybe a little handhold, like to be like be be strong or some shit like that. That was. <laughs> Great acting on both parts, you know. Oof, he's looking good. Oh my god, he's looking great as well. Show the doofus. Look at that. I wonder if is he shitting it himself? Is it all becoming too real to him? Oh yeah, your dragon. <laughs> she. Oh, what a shot! I hope that's like actually on set somewhere. That looks amazing. Reigns of Castamere, yes. I don't know why. Do you know what it is? That song. It just. It just. I know it more than the others, other than like you know the Starks theme, you know for Winterfell's of there. Only because my mate. Vix, he basically just used to rave on about that. And I was like, what? What are you on about? What? What's the rage of Castamere? And now it's just drilled into me and I love it now. Oh, my king! Consort. There's his army. His army for his queen. Oh, yes. Oh, we're not even... We're not getting a battle at sea, are we? Yes. How many of the wives did you did you know you know impregnate? Oh, you don't have to death stare your father so much, you know. You can just look away. <laughs> there she is, the beauty. The queen I never was. Oh my yes! Go claim your dragon girl. Go claim her. Let's see was it her. Is that Otto? Hold on, was that Otto in a cage? Oh, they actually are escaping. Oh my god, they're running away together. Jeez, this place is like absolutely crumbling. <laughs> like, King's Landing is on its knees. Look at that as a shot. Oh yes, what a shot. Oh shit, was that it? I mean, don't get me wrong, that built up nicely as in a, as a, yeah, this is the final episode, but, oh shit. Like, wow, yeah, that was, I honestly didn't expect that end there. I felt like there was something else coming, you know? And that guy's my reaction to House of the Dragon season two, episode eight, the finale. First off, if you see a difference in lighting, it's because it's actually dark now. I had to go do, go somewhere, so. I wasn't able to finish off um so that's why there's a difference but yeah but overall um that's that's why so I, but so it's been some time in between i had some time to digest it and i really enjoyed the episode i did uh i do feel like that it was uh so i know some people will probably think it's a bit of a some people probably think it's a bit of a nothing episode i guess so that's what some people might think 
or it's basically Peter. I know some people will probably be like, they just basically just were like in the last episode, oh, season three. But it, I mean, you could take that about anything really. Um, that if you look at it like that, it's it's like saying, oh, kind of like it. Like I guess if people go, oh, look how look how big this war is going to be. Look how big it's big. We're going to be at war, and then eventually it's a war. Uh, it's kind of like then it's like how they've been going winter is coming from season one to season seven of Game of Thrones well no yeah season six I think it was season seven when I think Sansa said winter is here to Jon Snow so <laughs> I'm fairly certain it was that or was it season eight I can't remember now anyway my point is, is that that's like saying that and it's like that doesn't that, that it, that's not the same sort of thing you know like yeah, it's it's not it's not the same, it, and, and sorry, it, sorry, it's not the same thing in the sense that it's if people are if people are saying that's what house dragons is, then that's the same. You know what I mean? So I got distracted. There was noise outside, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, but I still really enjoyed it. I thought it looked great. It felt great. Get get me gas for season three, but it means that now <laughs> I have to wait two years for the conclusion. You know. Because it was, uh, the first season came out about two years ago, and I remember because I set in my channel for the first time, and I think it was one of the first few things I I, I was doing reactions for, and I, I did it when I got my new job, actually. So it was actually about, I was doing reactions, yeah, it was about this time, like two years ago, so we're in for another two-year wait, 2026, baby, can't wait. Um, I thought that, there's things I didn't expect, I will say that. And there was things that I, uh, I kind of expected because I thought they wouldn't like for the whole thing. I kind of expected Damon to have a change of heart, you know. Uh, and he, he did, but I I didn't really expect Allison to be throwing her kids to the wolves and be like, I just want to save this one, <laughs> and be like, you can usurp my son. I don't give a shit. So yeah, so hmm, yeah, I I. I think it, it was great. I, I really did really, really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, yeah, I really did enjoy it. I'm going to go through my notes real quick. Um, yeah, so uh, it opening was with, I'll basically, the opening was out you know, to try to get the new Armada, new 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 group of people to help uh, uh, the, uh, help in this battle this um, um, at sea. I would say, I guess, the ones that would get, well, the ones to take down the blockade. So, to stick in that moment there, it made sense that they had to go out. Um, it was an interesting way of getting them. It, they gave us more time there than I expected with the whole sort of, right, okay, it's, um, it, it's like, all right, here we are, this is what we need to do, this is what we need, you need to meet this person, oh, you won't sell me, we need to have a fight, let's have a mud fight. Okay, cool. Let's have dinner together. You're gonna, it just it stayed there longer than I expected, which I don't know. If, I don't really if we need it, but then again, it's probably a way to introduce this character, which might be more relevant in the next season. Um, but yeah, but I did. I didn't. Uh, I did enjoy the the setup of the air again. It was um, was it Bravos? It was uh, that they're they're in. Or, was it Bravos? I think it was. I can't remember what it was now. But, um, but yeah, I did like the whole get up of them all being there, different types of people from different walks of life that are basically out just to do the same thing, which is get money, you know? Um, so, yeah, so I, I did enjoy that. The mud fight was interesting. I thought they were, her as a character and their relationship was going to be something more than what it was, and it might end up being it, but it, she just wants him to pretty much be a sperm donor. So, all right, <laughs> cool. <laughs> But it, it kind of again showing this guy to be more, a little bit more than just a little bitch at a table, you know. Showing that he can do more than just talk. He can a little walk the walk a little bit. But yeah. But um, what I will say again at the end, end it with the montage. Uh, actually, no, I'll, I'll leave that for now. Um, but yeah. So that little moment of Eamon just being at that town, just literally watching it all in flames. Hearing the crackling and the screams, uh, showing Vega flying towards him around, it, it was great. Again, it's just a short scene just to show how much of a shithead he is, you know? 
So I really enjoyed that. Um, the whole let's run away this episode was very... Well, I say probably there was two people. Um, but people were just running away. And i was very shocked with Laris's, uh endgame sort of hope in Aegon. I don't know what he sees, what he feels, what he can do, but that whole like little switch sort of him just sort of like trying to convince him, let's do this. Obviously, Aegon being out of it, not really sort of knowing what to do, but then being told, listen, you can come back and be the prince, the king that was promised pretty much, be like the rightful heir, you'll be loved, you'll bring Pit. Aegon the peaceful, was it? Um, and then was it uh, Delight? That was it, Aegon delight dreams dreams delight or d- 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 Aegon the delightful i can't remember it's just like just just really see he's just there like still going like yeah we'll do this bitch don't worry and he's like yeah yeah we will one day but we'll see how that goes um that was followed up by ulf and jace having that little stand up i i ulf he again he's a character in which i'm like I find him funny. He's a bit doofusy, but then it's like you know, you were listen. You're not everything is down at the at the the pub with the mates talking shit, saying shit, doing all this shit. You know, not all of it's it's not like that. Not that you you can understand the scenario you're in, and and try to adapt to it, and it's a character, and that's what you think is that to be like. I don't know. For someone to have the arrogance and the swagger like that, you'd have to be born rich, I think. But the fact that he's a pauper that is now at the rich person's table, he still thinks he can have that swagger when realistically, after Jason's just said all that shit, it's like... Hmm. Yeah. You, yeah. But he might make me laugh in the next season. <laughs> but he, it, I'm glad Jace put him in his fucking place. Absolutely shout that firstly the whole thing with the feet up on the table as well, thinking just cause I'm I'm now get I can do what the fuck I want. He he yeah. Kinda wish that he, like he just like sort of smacked him around a little as well. Take him on his wing to be like, Come on, come on dude. But he tried a little bit, but yeah, it's Ulf. <laughs> but I'm glad Jace put him in his place. Jace again, that little moment where he had with Baylor where it was Baylor like sort of being like, Stop acting like a little bitch and be the right hand to the queen you know literally be there front and center with her side by side to show people that you are next in line like you are uh, you are next in line no one can dispute this you know um yeah um oh the queen that never was the ship being named after his wife oh one nice little send-off that was beautiful the fact he was like everything i do now i do it for her it's like yes you absolute king you're doing it for your queen, but also, why did you sleep with other women? <sighs> why is it with... I, know, I was about to say, why is it with these people? But it's the it's the money, isn't it? It's like, what, what, why does no one pull out? Oh, I know. I won't stop these. Like, I'll, I'll, to avoid any of this shit happen, put... <sighs> <laughs> it's like, you fucking idiots. You reap what you sow. Um, whilst I am here though I will stick with the moment of the fact that we do have callers trying to be that sort of well I have nobody now so I'm going to make some sort of movement and bam having um, Alan Alan yeah it's Alan isn't it because Adam yeah yeah Alan yeah so it's Alan uh, having Alan literally call him out for a shit he'd be like you weren't (laughs) you weren't there you could yeah now you are just because you have no one else I am not I will be there for you to be like because I I am work under you, but don't expect anything from me like other than that. And it's like fucking a well done. Call him out for his shit. Call is obviously not liking that. He thought well at least I can lean on this person, my son, my this and that. It's like no, and and it is another a great way to some bastards are eager to please their father or or well, yeah usually it's the father that to be like sort of like oh don't don't let me go again whereas he's like i came from nothing i'll go back to being nothing i don't care so i thought that was fucking great by the way um right um damon and alfred 
Damon having that moment with Alfred, Alfred coming along after doing everything that he said, acting all sort of loyal and shit, to then literally be Damon going, say the word, and us will whip out your dick, Damon, and we'll whip ours, and we'll just whip dicks together because we're a bunch of dick whipping dicks. It's like, Alfred, where was your, like, again, him being like, literally saying, like, I didn't thought think of you to be a turncoat. And it's like, and he's there going, oh, well. We need a king, not a queen. Oh, fuck off. Oh, um, anyway, yeah, but I'm glad what ends up, ends up be happening. But yeah, did not expect that for Alfred. Damon, again, was again at the moment toying with the idea. But I think Alfred probably did help that along as well to see what is at her table. It's like, you know, she, he needs to be there with her because this is the people that are sort of like around her and they probably could be around him as well. So, but yeah. Yeah, so Damon having that moment, uh, followed by having the dream with, uh, by, like, well, trying to sleep, and the witch, Alice, being, like, just sort of at his bedside, like, <laughs> like, creepy as fuck, but to touch the tree, and Alice be like, listen, you're not the person you came here, so see what's to come. The fact is that he saw what's to come. Winter is coming. Did not expect that to be said. Um and it's he knows what's to come and he knows that he's just another pawn in it all so what's the point in trying to claim it all when he's just got to just have to just go along for the ride now he's seen too much he knows too much but that's what's calmed him he knows that shit is really going to get worse here on out so you might as well ride this wave baby but uh, yeah that was that was uh i thought that was a great sort of like little dream sequence seeing the back of um daenerys again was nice uh, I can imagine a lot of uh, people will be on the internet going nuts over that, but not like nuts as in like, oh my god, this is amazing. Be like, be like, oh my god, uh, god, it's great to have him back after they ruined her and things like that. That was better than season eight, that entire clip, that sort of stuff, you know. Um, but yeah, um, let's have a look here. Do do do. Let's have a look here. So. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's say Aemon trying to send Helena to battle just cause. Because they need dragons, they need people to fight, and bam, he wants to send her out there. Great on good, great for Alison to actually step up and be like, you fucking shit bastard, you absolute fuckhead. Like, what's wrong with you, you evil sack of shit? Where are you going to destroy the one bit of good that we have in this just cause? Blah, blah. I thought she did great there. Uh, poor Helena. Like, she's getting literally dragged through all this. And she just, she doesn't want it to happen, you know? She doesn't want it to be, she just, she was happy just being, I guess, royalty. But then again, she would have been happy to be a pauper. She wouldn't have happy to be one of the small folk, like, you know. So put, bless her. And Alison literally being like, right, the other two are, the other two are done. Like, you know, there's no saving them. Let me protect the one that's close to me that I know needs it. And that's it, so... But yeah, Aemond literally being a sack of shit and her calling him out to be a sack of shit was great. Just to stick with that moment of Aemond literally trying to still convince her later on and he's trying to get her, like, see the bigger picture and she's just like, you're going to die. There's no way around it. You will die. And him being like, I could have you killed. And she's like, that won't change the outcome. You're going to die. And he knows she's a bit witchy, so that's going to be up there now. He's... Oof. it's really building up to like you know again he's there talking about like oh let me go, like, go kill my uncle like I don't think Damon actually probably cares about this guy he probably is just a little speck to him again you see in season one as it is and then this he's, he's just trying to get a an army for him and now it's for uh, Rhaenyra but yeah you know what I mean like he's just sort of like, mm, mm. And he's just he's just there like sort of like we'll take on I'll take Damon my uncle and this and that claim the throne. She's like, nah, you're gonna die. <laughs> so great stuff. Really enjoyed that bit. Um, yeah, mud battle was kind of weird. <laughs> what, what, what's that? What, I'm looking at my note again. It was kind of weird, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, fuck my wives, please. That's why I wrote down. So I'm like, thank you. You're very handsome. Fuck my wives. <laughs> it's great stuff. It's not the right. I just think I think I'm funny. Um. Yeah, that whole scene with them eating dinner, like as in uh, uh, Rhaenyra, Ulf, Hugh, uh, 
um, Baylor, Jace, all them sort of sitting around there and they're just sort of like, and Ulf's just being an absolute fucking prick. Making all these like sort of little comments about the birds and, and like, the, 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 was it little birds or something like that? But, like, you know, you're a lot, a lot of fun. Like, yeah, you are forgetting your place. You, you may have a dragon, but they will just kill you and find another person to get this dragon. It, 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 it's too quick, he's feeling it. And he, he is going to probably die a a pathetic death. I can just see it. There's no way that he's... He'll probably be just, like, eaten by Vega in one, in one gulp. Like, that, that's sort of embarrassing, you know? But we can only dream and hope, you know? Um, yeah. I was just, yeah, talking about Damon's dream, talking about that. Um, uh, blah, blah. Helena and Eamon, uh yeah, that moment then of, <laughs> first, that moment of then, them going to Harren Hall, as in Rhaenyra and, uh, and Adam, uh, and her just rocking up, and the dragons be like, hey, 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 <laughs> so screaming at her, but her dragon being like literally watching over to be like, yeah, I know you've gone inside. I found a gap here. I'm making sure everything's cool down here. Damon coming along and just being like, didn't have to come. He didn't have to come. Everything's cool. Like only about a couple of hours ago, I was thinking of usurping you, but everything's cool now. I don't want the shit. I don't want the heat. Again, him saying winter is coming. I've seen it. It's just, it's just part of it. Just let's, Let's just do it. And, uh, but that sort of like, I bless Rhaenyra, she's there like, oh, and he, when he's been there, she's like, oh, okay. She's not really questioning it too much, but like, realistically, she'd be like, Damon, what the fuck happened to you? <laughs> For him to be so submissive, let's say. Uh, excuse me, but that was a great moment. Him basically cheering, uh, well, bending the knee to uh, Rhaenyra, her husband like, taking the back. Um, her saying like don't never leave again or <laughs> I thought that was great really enjoyed that Alfred being like for fuck's sake like probably worried about his own health now um <clears throat> but yeah I oh, really 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 enjoyed that bit but him bending the to her and yeah her realising that the army that he he got the army for so yeah I really enjoyed that um uh Oh yeah, I talked about not, I read down not my father, but that's to do with uh, uh, what do you call it? With to do with Corliss and uh, Alan. Um, that okay, yeah. That moment then with Radira and Alison again, them talking about what's to come, what's going to happen. We can't escape it, you know. Actually, we can. I will give you my children and her go like a son for a son. She's like, cool, bet, let's do this. Like, did not expect it. Love the fact that she basically is now like, like literally, she's admitted to having a lover and and, and Rhaenyra, Oh, there we go. You made virtue your whole sort of spiel, and it's like, well, you know, shit happens. But it, it was a great monologue. Like, well, no, a great scene between the two of them, basically calling each other out, but. Alison pretty much saying, I fucked up. I only did it for your father. I thought it was for your father, but I fucked up. I am caused a lot of shit now. And even Renee being sort of like, what, do you think you started the war and you think you could just walk away? And her being like, yeah, pretty much. But to basically go like, listen, I want out. I want to bring my daughter and the baby with us. And her and, and Renee were going like, I have to, Eamon will die. And when I was Alison, he'd be like, sort of, when he's gone, take take care, like pretty much to take care of him. But Aegon, maybe just, you know, don't kill him. She's like, no, I have to kill him. She's like, Okay, okay, deal. <laughs> I was like, what a, what a fucking... What a, what a, that's probably the worst deal for her family ever, but fuck it, she's got all she cares about now. Um, but yeah, and it being like a... Cool, this is it now. We'll see how that goes in season three. Well, how, again, I have no idea what happens in the next season, what happens in the book, so... Yeah, I'm interested to see how that goes. But that ending of the montage of everyone doing their thing. Again, that one felt like... Um, what I was going to say was that one felt like, you know, when uh, Daenerys is on her way to... It's the end of season six. So it's shown everyone sort of doing their thing. It's after Cersei's blown up the septum and she's sort of been held. Uh, she's now the queen... Oh, I was about to say Asgard. <laughs> queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Um... Yeah, so she's now Queen of the Seven... Uh, she's actually Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Jon Snow is now King of the North. Uh, other people doing other things. 
and then it then shows then Daenerys on her way to King's Landing well to Westeros you know it's like sort of like you know so she's on her way that's what that felt like it was like that build up a montage of things and people like, like doing their own thing so yeah so Damon has his new army uh, all the the dragon riders are there ready to go to war now all the new ones I think they look slick in their armor looks great um, yeah and everyone sort of do Aegon's like gone off with Laris. Uh, Aemon's just been a broody little bitch and yeah, and things were agreed upon that I don't think will happen, but we'll see how it goes. But overall, I really enjoyed this season. Uh, did I enjoy it as much as the first one? Maybe not, because the first one was like sort of like, yes, this is outstanding. This is Game of Thrones is back, baby. That sort of feeling. Whereas this one was consistently good. So I think this is probably the hype for the first one, for being the first one, is what does it. Well, I will say, more dragons, me likey. So um, I just, yeah. I just annoyed that Damon was just daydreaming for majority, everyone, like having visions away from his wife and stuff like that. But it was just part of the story, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, yeah, I thought it was a uh, thought it was a great season. Really enjoyed it, and I thought, uh, and uh, can't wait for the last one. So twenty twenty six, can't wait for everyone to die and me be miserable every episode. <laughs> but yeah, so great series, great episode. Uh, and I can't wait for the last one. So yeah, so I'm gonna leave it there, guys. So if you liked the video, please like the video. Comment down below. What do you think of this episode? What uh, What do you think of uh, What do you think of Ulf just talking shit? What do you think of Alison giving up her other kids just to save Helena? Uh, what do you think of uh, Alan basically being like, "Fuck off, Corliss," you know? Uh, just, just like get get fucked. And Damon bending the knee and finally being like, "My wife again." Her being sort of like. Oh yeah, like a submissive Damon. Yes. So yeah, all that sort of stuff. What do you think of this episode? What do you think of the whole season, etc. Down below in the comments. If you like these types of videos, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Get a notification every time I upload. Bunch of other videos around here to do with me and other people. I currently, well, this, well, now I only currently am reacting to Star Wars Rebels. I also reacted uh, react to other Star Wars shows. Most recently, The Acolyte. Uh, just finished this, uh, and as well as The Boys season four. Um, a Doctor Who shooties first season just finished out. I also do reactions to Doctor Who with my little brother Charlie. They're all up there as well. Uh, well, not all of them. We're on David Tennant's second season. He's currently with Martha. Uh, and I also do reactions to Marvel stuff. Um, uh, for example, I did the MCU, the films, Phase 1 to 3, the Infinity Saga, one with my mate Josh. But I also did uh, react, do reactions to the shows on Disney Plus since Moon Knight. And most recently, I did a reaction to just Marvel, not the MC, but Marvel, X Men's 97. So, if anything like that sounds like a teacher fancy, guys, like, subscribe, notification bell, all that jazz. But thank you again for watching. I'll see you in 2070. Ah, I'll see you in 2026. See you out there.